Beautiful morning, dear children. Welcome back to your social class. So today we are going to start with chapter number seventeen, and you can guess the topic by seeing the picture. Yes, it is going to be about transport and communication. So, what is a transport? It is a system or a method of carrying people and goods from one place to another. is called transport and otherwise you can say the movement of goods or people from one place to another is called transport and do you know how only humans travel from one place to another yes they travel by walking that is on foot then they meet the wheel and made carts to travel to carry goods and in the 18th century james watt designed an efficient steam engine and in the early 20th century the wright brothers designed an early version of the aeroplane so these two inventions brought about a revolution in our transport system okay so now let's see what is the need for transport So every country needs an efficient system of transport and besides taking people from one place to another we also need to transport the raw materials that is the goods to the factories and the finished goods from the factories to the materials all over the world so this is not possible without an efficient and a cheap means of transport so we have to have a well maintained transport system in our country for the movement of the raw materials so the first heading is roadways so we need roads for smoother and faster movement of our vehicles and india has a fast network of roads including national highways that is nh okay and state highways sh so a vast network of roads also connects india and her neighbors for example the grand trunk road connects kolkata and peshawar in pakistan so elsewhere in the world too there is an extensive network of roads in europe and north america there are express ways or freeways okay these connect town cities and even countries okay so what do you mean by express ways and freeways children so they are wide roads with several lanes on which the vehicles can travel fast okay so roadways are an effective means of transport system for the movement of the people and also for the goods so the next one is railways so railways are convenient for traveling and carrying goods so the british introduced railways in india and in the mid 19th century that means in the middle of the 19th century and today india is the second largest railway network in asia and fourth largest in the world and usa has the largest railway network in the world and russia china and canada also have extensive railway networks and the longest train route in the world is the trans siberian railway which connects moscow to vladivostok a distance of over 9200 kilometers and the train running on this route covers this area about in 178 hours and japan china and france have designed some of the fastest trains in the world and the bullet train of japan the maglev of china and the tgv of france can run at the speed of over 400 kilometers per hour just imagine and see so the next one is waterways The earliest means of water transport were rafts and boats. So over centuries technology improved and people began to construct ships. So these could carry more goods and also move faster. So waterways are cheaper than other modes of transport but it takes time as you know. So this is because unlike roads and railways waterways require no roads or tracks it just floats on water. okay and only ports are needed for loading and unloading goods and india has over 200 ports along its coastline okay and the busiest sea route in the world is one between the eastern north america and the western europe so it is called as a north atlantic route and the construction of the suez canal and the panama canal have reduced the travel time and the suez canal joins the mediterranean sea and the red sea and which has enabled the ships to cross from asia to europe without going around the southern tip of africa and the panama canal joins the atlantic ocean and the pacific ocean so before it was built the ships had to go 
around the southern tip of South America to sail from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. So this I will show you with the help of map and the class. Okay. So the next one is airways, air travel. Okay. So this is the fastest mode of transport. So the first successful attempt of fly was made by Wright Brothers, Orwell and Wilbur in the year 1903. And today air transport has become a popular mode of travel. And a large network of air routes connects the whole world. And the most dense air network is in Western Europe and North America. And some of the busiest airports in the world are in the cities of Atlanta, London, Paris, Chicago, Beijing, Tokyo and Dubai. Why? Here's a second part of the lesson is communication. So what is communication? So humans have been communicating since ancient times and the faster and reliable means of communication has developed in the 19th and the 20th centuries. So what is communication children? Sending and receiving messages by many means. Okay, it is called as communication. So, what are those means of communication? Now, let's see. Postal service. So, India has a large postal network and it is called as India Post. And it is widely used means of communication and we have nearly uh, 1,25,000 post offices in our country. We send postcards, letters, greeting cards and parcels to the post office. And for documents that need to be delivered urgently, the post office offers the facility of speed post. Telephone. So it is the fastest means of communication today and it was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. So people use landline phones and mobile phones for communication and another popular device is the smartphone. So it can be used as a computer and also to send, make and receive messages and calls. This you all know very much, isn't it? Yes, the next one is intercom. So intercom is an electrical device that allows people in different floors of a building to speak to one another. Okay, that is called as an intercom. Yes, next we can see it is a fax machine. So this is an instant means of communication. And the fax machine is connected to a phone line. And it is used to send a copy of a handwritten or a printed material and photographs. So the machine at the receiver's end prints an exact copy of the document instantly. Okay. So... First, we have the internet. So, the internet is the latest means of communication and is a global network of computers. So, we can find information on any topic on the internet and people can shop and even do banking through the internet. And we can transfer very large files to another person through the internet and this is called this web transfer. And we all know the uses of internet since we are having online class from last April or May, isn't it? And we are using our mobile phone for our daily work. Okay, children. So, the use of internet is like an infinite thing. But what you have to do, you have to use it for only for good purpose and not doing any malpractice or anything. Is this you all know what is this? Yes, it is email. So the email or the electronic mail is a popular means of communication and it delivers message instantly. So to send or receive a ma mail, you must have a device such as a desktop, computer, laptop, tablet or a smartphone and an email account and an active internet connection. So then only we can send email to our receivers. Yes, the next one is radio. So radio was invented by G. Marconi and as a source of education as well as an entertainment. So in the olden days, each house they would have had a radio. Okay. And radio has a vast audience and even reaches people living in remote areas such as in the villages. So next we have newspapers and magazines. So newspapers and magazines make us aware of developments in different parts of our country and around the world. And today's newspapers have digital version or e-newspapers which people can read on their laptops, tablets and their smartphones. 
So next is a familiar one, our television. So John Logie Baird invented the television. This we have to know, okay? So this means of communication is more popular than the radio as it is an audio visual medium. That means we can see the video, okay? And we can watch live and recorded programs through this medium. So nowadays we can plug in pen drives to the television and play the movies what we want to watch. And the last topic is cinema. So this is another means of communication that educates as well as entertains. So cinema also spreads social messages. So the new means of communication that have become popular nowadays. Okay. And these are called social networking services. This include Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram and Twitter. So we can communicate with our friends and relatives and send messages, photographs and videos through these networking services. So in times of disasters or emergencies, the social networking sites help us access information quickly. So these services can be accessed either on the smartphones, tablets or on laptops and personal computers. So these are all called as what? They are means of communication. So my dear children, complete the textbook exercise. Read the lesson properly. Okay. Thank you children. Have a great day.